guess what? I knitted my first sweater. Hi, and welcome back to Just Another Stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie. And if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are new, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel. And let me know a little bit about, your, oops, <laughs> about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. All right. So today I'm going to be talking about my first knitted sweater. And this is something that I have been wanting to, to do. And guess what? I did it. So initially, my plans were to do a, a cabled sweater pattern, and I will put the link for it in the description box. I've shown it several times in the past, either on videos or on lives, but I started working it up, and I wasn't feeling it. I felt like it just seemed bulky, and then I realized all the sewing seams and picking up stitches and I d I'm not a fan of, of, of those two things in knitting and I know it's my kryptonite and I need to overcome it and that is one of my goals that I will overcome this and get more confident in those two things. And if y'all have any suggestions to help me, let me know. Because I always, like, when it comes to sewing seams, like, I know typically, like, you have your V and you have that little bore. And that's what you're supposed to pick up. But sometimes it's hard to find that bore. I don't know if y'all that knit have that trouble, too. Or there's maybe an easier way. Because I know there's different techniques to sewing seams. So any suggestions, please send them my way. I need help. Help. <laughs> so, like I said, I wasn't feeling it and I frogged. Then I found a basic raglan sweater. I figured let's start with the basics. And... I, this one also had a video tutorial, so I was like, okay, if there's any questions, I can resort to the video tutorial, and it did also have the written pattern, and this is how it came out, and I had initially started working on it before my crochet plant kick, and I hadn't been working on it, and this is a bad thing about when you put stuff down for a long time. You, you, you get forgetful. And I took notes. I made sure to take good notes. But even still, I got confused. And when I started counting my rows, well, actually, I'm sorry, counting my stitches, I didn't think it was the right stitch count. So guess what? I frogged. Restarted the sweater. And then I'm pretty sure my stitch count was originally correct. I forgot that on each section between the stitch markers, I was thinking there was only one increase, but there was, was two. So that's why I had all these extra stitches, but... In reality, it was cracked. But, you know, it is what it is. And a lot of times I find when you frog and restore, usually your stitching looks better because you're more familiar with the pattern. 
So that's what I did. And the yarn I used on this sweater is uh, Lion Brand's Pound of Love. I believe the colorway is pink, but it's the only pink colorway in the yarn. And, you know, there's the make ones. You got to make one, you know, you have the left and the right. Which I'm not the biggest fan of make ones. When it comes to increases, I really prefer knit front and back. But with, you know, certain patterns, you need the, the leaning increases and this is one of them but other than that I mean really ba very basic um you have your ribbing for the the neck and the at the end of the sleeves and at the bottom and then other than that it, it's all stockinette stitch except for the make ones at the top portion. And I actually encourage Antoinette to, to, to start working on her first knitted sweater. So I love encouraging people. And if this is a project that you've been thinking about, do it. You can do it. It's really pretty basic. I mean, it will take you longer to work up. And the only part on this pattern that you had, you know, to do any kind of sewing is that when you had to pick up the stitches for the, the arms, the sleeves, and the underarm, you have this like get little gap area and you kind of got to sew that together, you know, to hide the hole. And, and you do have to pick up stitches, but for this pattern, you use scrap yarn to put your stitches on. It's really easy to pick up the stitches. But I think that pretty much covers everything about this sweater. And I'm curious, have you ever knitted a sweater? Or have you been thinking about knitting a sweater? Maybe you want to knit a sweater. Let me know in the comments. And now that I've gotten my... Oh, I did forget to tell y'all something. Now, one thing when it came to this sweater, I do find the sleeves came out a little too long. And I really wish the body, I would have made it longer. I actually did a half inch extra. But I like a longer sweater. I don't like to raise my arm and my belly be exposed. No belly exposure for me. Um, so in the future, I want to make my sweaters longer. Um, now... As long as I wear like a cami under it or I have something that I that can go higher up on my waist, I should be fine. Like in the pictures I showed at the beginning of the video, I had a, a skirt on that I was able to pull up higher. But no, I don't like the belly exposure. <laughs> so now I am going to be making a second sweater. This one is a turtleneck sweater, and I'm going to do it striped. And the yarn that I'm using for it is the Premier Anti, I always get confused how to say it, Anti-Pilling or Piling, I think it's Pilling. Um, this is a four-weight yarn. And the colors that I'm going to be using, now for like the body, I'm going to be doing that striped. And this one is Horber. And this one is, can I read it? <laughs> Let's see. Seafoam. Seafoam. <gasps> 
and probably need my glasses again. Cappuccino. I should have remembered that one. This one is cappuccino. And that's what I'm going to alternate with, with the stripes for the body. And then for the turtleneck port and the ribbing ports at the end of the sleeves and the end of the body, I'm going to use the cream. And this was actually yarn that I got. My friend Deanna sent me an Annie's Afghan kit. And that's what it, the afghan was supposed to look like. Which I'm not really big on making blankets. So I'm using the yarn for other projects. And a lot of it's going to go to this sweater. I did stored it. This is the turtleneck part. The, the ribbing. It's knit to pearl to. And I'm supposed to do this for 10 inches. I haven't gotten much done on it. I only worked on it like the evening on Sunday. And this week I'm crocheting, so. But Monday I'll be going back to it. But that's my plans for my second knit sweater. Oh, I do have a few announcements for y'all before I wrap this video up. Um, you may find me on some Mondays at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time over on Barbara with Crochet Therapies Live. I may not be there every Monday. It kind of depends. But she's given me an open invite to show up when I'm able to. So if you want to go check that live out. And even if I'm not there, Barbara has amazing lives. So... Just go check her line out. You'll love it. I love me some Barbara. <laughs> um, also, the finished projects video. I'm going to aim, I guess, for the 15th of next month. I, I know I'm, like, really behind on getting one done. Um, any pictures that I responded back to you, letting you know that I've saved the pictures. Those pictures are saved for the video. Now, usually if I haven't saved the pictures, I haven't saved everything from my Facebook group, but I will be able to go back easily and get those pictures. Now, the ones that I talked to on Messenger, that send me pictures on Messenger, more than likely those pictures are not saved. So if you find any of your pictures not in the, the video when I do it, just resend the pictures to me if you had previously sent them, and I'll get them in the next video. No big thing. I can always put them in a future video if they get left out. I don't do it on purpose, um, but, you know, it can, it can be sometimes, you know, a little difficult to keep up with everything, but the way that you know I have your pictures is I respond and tell you they're saved. So, like, if something happens where maybe your email didn't go through, if, if I don't respond, then either I didn't get to your email yet or I never got the, the, the email. But I think that covers everything. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But anywho, I hope everyone is having a fabulous yarny day. And always remember to be the best sparkly you that you can be. And be cool and be kind. And ooh la la. Bye, everyone.